When the first reports came in regarding the new features and changes of iOS 17, we all thought it's gonna be a boring update. Something like iOS 15 where Apple will of course just focus on improvement, stability and all that stuff. But it looks like this will be an amazing update. Even though we still have reports saying that we're not getting any major new features on iOS 17, something like home screen widgets on iOS 14 or the new lock screen with iOS 16, we are still getting a lot of updates which will make probably this one of the best updates that we got in years and by far the most customizable iOS update yet. So in this video, we're going to talk about a new report regarding some new features and changes that we know about that are coming to the new iOS 17, which now is very close to being released on its first beta. So it's 39 days away from the first beta of iOS 17. And of course, now we have a lot of reports and rumors claiming about the new features and changes that are coming to the new iOS 17. As you probably know, some of the earlier reports regarding iOS 17 said that Apple will focus on checking off some of the most requested user features. Some of them might be the ability to close all apps at once or having interactive widgets on the home screen. We know these features are coming even though the interactive widgets on the home screen are not yet confirmed. They might come, they might not. But what is coming that is actually really cool and it has been requested for a long time now is the ability to customize the app library. So you know the app library on iOS is basically here and you cannot do anything on it. You will find your apps easier, but you cannot customize it. You cannot actually rename any of the folders or categorize your apps into folders. But iOS 17 will change that. So now you will be able to rename the folders with iOS 17 on the app library and also use custom categories. So you will be able to actually create your own folders and put apps on those folders. That will be amazing. You can have a folder for your favorite apps and of course maybe folders just like you have like on the home screen, you can have them on the app library with different apps and of course for different stuff. So there will be new features to better organize your app library with iOS 17, something I know a lot of iOS users have been requesting for a really, really long time. Another home screen feature we have been requesting for a long time now are home screen interactable widgets. You know, since the release of iOS 14 with the new home screen widgets, there have actually been no new updates to these home screen widgets and it's almost three years now, everything is still the same and you cannot actually do anything with home screen widgets despite show information on your home screen. Now there are reports that Apple is actually thinking of adding this new feature to iOS 17 and it might make it to iOS 17, it might not, but if it does, we will have home screen widgets with buttons, switches, and sliders, which of course allow you to do way more on the home screen of your device using widgets without having to go into apps. And this, combined with the all new app library features, will make the home screen of iOS 17 a really, really nice place. There will be changes on the lock screen as well. So with iOS 16, we got this brand new lock screen, but there will be a lot more changes with iOS 17. And one of them will be the ability to change the font size on iOS 17's lock screen. So you know that currently we have a few fonts to choose from when it comes to the clock. Now you will have the ability to actually also change the size and there will be additional customization features for the lock screen as well. One really cool thing is that you can now with iOS 17, well, you will be able to share your lock screen with other users. So if you create like a cool lock screen, you will have the ability to actually share that lock screen with some other users. So of course, no one will need to actually recreate like a lock screen from the beginning. Let's say I do a video on YouTube, I have a pretty cool lock screen, I can just put a link there on my video and anyone that likes that lock screen can go ahead and get that on their device using that sharing link, which will be really cool. Another addition to, uh, to the iOS 17 lock screen will be the lyrics from Apple Music. So you know we have lyrics on Apple Music, now they can be displayed with iOS 17, they will be able to be displayed on the lock screen as well, which is of course really, really cool as you don't have to keep your iPhone unlocked and stay on the music app to view the lyrics of the music. 
Now when talking about music, the music app will also be redesigned on iOS 17. So expect a new UI to come to the music app on iOS 17, which will of course make it way easier to navigate and way easier to find anything you want. So that will be another bigger change with iOS 17. So expect that. And of course, other updates on stock apps of iOS. Now we know that we had this rumor for a long time now that we're getting a new control center with iOS 17 and we have this report from all kinds of different sources so most likely we're getting a completely new control center with iOS 17 as well so we just had that report again recently this is from a post from iDownload blog I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video and everything that you see on this video is basically based on that report by iDownload blog so expect that and also another change that will come on the control center will be a slider for the flashlight so basically here what we have is is like four different levels to which we can turn up or down the intensity of the flashlight on the device but now you will have a slider just like you have one for the volume here and for the brightness that will be the same for the flashlight as well so you can more precisely set the brightness of the flashlight so recently we also had another report and this is from Mark Grumman from Bloomberg and according to him Apple is focusing more on improving the stability of iOS but that doesn't mean that there will be no iPhone new features on iOS 17. This year Apple could basically implement many new features and improvements that people have been asking for for years and when we hear that we know that this will be an amazing update because of course some of the most requested user features are yet nowhere to be found on iOS so Apple adding those features probably of course not all of them but a few of them will be amazing and this will be a way better update than we think so these are some of the latest reports regarding the new features that are coming to the new iOS 17. So we're getting very, very close to the release of the first beta of iOS 17. As you know, it will happen in 39 days here. So that will be June 5th. It will be a Monday when Apple will release the first beta of iOS 17. Unfortunately, this year you won't be able to update using the profile. The only way to update to iOS 17 will be by just having a dev account which will cost you $99 per year so if you have that you will be able to install iOS 17 on this first dev beta when it comes out in June 5th otherwise you will have to wait until mid July to install the public beta which again will be very very easy to do all you will have to do is go to your update section on the settings app and just select the public beta there and you will get the update again without needing to have a profile installed on your device so that's basically it for this video guys let me know right down below in the comments which is a feature that you would request apple to add to ios 17 hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys on the next one